this is shweta welcome to my classes today we will be understanding about the another type of electrode that is calomel electrode okay so it is also called as a secondary reference electrode in last one of my video you saw the reference electrode that is she okay so here this is said to be calomel electrode is a secondary reference electrode okay so first let us see like what it consists of so here you can see this is a calomel electrode here you can see that it consists of mercury okay that is hg and then you can also see mercurous chloride that is Hg2Cl2 okay and mercury paste okay and also it is consisting of saturated potassium chloride solution okay that is it is very simple construction and you can see the platinum wire okay so this electrode is made up of all these clear so, you know uh, this calomel electrode can be easily set up in the laboratory because you can see that mercury which is of high degree purity is placed in the bottom of this glass tube okay one glass tube is taken and this mercury is placed at the bottom of that and you can see that it is having a side tube at each of that glass tube and also mercury is covered by this mercury it is covered by one of the paste what that paste is called as mercurous chloride and hg paste this itself is called as calomel whatever the paste here it is there no this itself is called as calomel hence it is also called as calomel electrode okay and you can see that the solution of potassium chloride that is saturated solution is been introduced okay into the glass tube okay using the side tube okay now you can see that here the concentration of this uh, whatever this KCL you have taken no it might be saturated or it might be desinormal or normal okay so you have to take out of those any one of the conditions so depending upon that EMF of this electrode will vary okay and what you can see in the diagrams that is platinum wire okay this platinum wire whatever is there no it is sealed into the glass tube why it is used because to make the electrical contact of the electrode with the circuit clean now see again first we will see the circuit presentation okay and then we will see the working of this calomel electrode you can see the uh, cell representation here it is, here also it is very simple first what you are taking hg that is solid okay that is in contact with this vertical line shows that it is in contact with mercurous chloride you can see hg to cl2 okay which is solid and again this is in turn contact with kcl that is saturated solution okay this is a simple cell representation now let's come to the working here you can see that again there are two possibilities okay so it can undergo either oxidation or it can undergo either reduction it depends upon the circumstances isn't it so first thing that if i connect this cell to the electrode undergoing reduction okay so it means i am connecting this cell in that if i have connect if i have connected this cell uh, to the another which is undergoing reduction i am talking about okay so this is undergoing reduction here if that cell is undergoing reduction and then this calomel and calomel should undergo oxidation remember this is undergoing reduction then this should undergo what oxidation if it is undergoing oxidation means it should lose the electrons isn't it so out of these there are many possibilities isn't it here k plus will be there cl will be, cl minus will be there hg plus is there and hg is there okay this hg plus is there and this hg is there out of these all which will lose the electrons okay so think that um, cl will never use the lose the electrons here k plus cl minus will be there okay cl minus will never lose the electrons then which is the possibility k plus even k plus and hg plus they both are already in the plus state they will be easily oxidized so even they will not lose the electrons um, because they are very stable in the h plus and uh, 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 k plus state already now only the option left is hg only this hg is there which will lose the electrons and it will attract the cl so here remember here k plus will be there and cl minus will be there okay so what this hg will do it will lose the electrons it will lose the electrons by losing the electrons it will go up and the cl will come down and it will become what it will become hg to cl okay what this hg does it will lose the two electrons first we will write that reaction okay so here what happens here first when it undergoes oxidation no here whatever your hg will be there no this will lose two electrons this hg will lose two electrons then it will form hg plus and two electrons in other terms how we can write this reaction you know that whatever this hg is there no it will lose two electrons when it lose two electrons no cl minus from here the saturated kcl out of that cl minus will come down and it will combine with this hg to form hg to cl2 okay so out of these both you can write any one okay this both are oxidation reaction okay now next is what if this calomel is undergoing reduction remember that time what we have taken other cell which will connect no that will be undergoing reduction then it will undergo oxidation but now you take the cell in which it is undergoing 
oxidation that cell whichever you are connecting no that electrode is undergoing oxidation this undergoing oxidation then definitely your calomel will be undergo reduction now what will happen now here someone is there to accept the electrons because gain of electrons it should gain the electrons because it is undergoing reduction because here it will provide the electrons and these electrons are transferred to this calomel now here someone should be there to accept the electrons again you have k plus cl minus and hg definitely these all will never accept the electrons only which is deficient of electrons is hg plus okay now we will see the reaction of hg plus that is reduction reaction so you can see the reduction reaction what happens here hg plus will be there now it will take the two electrons gain of electrons and it will become hg okay and next in other terms how you can tell so hg to cl2 in this the hg will be present isn't it out of this only hg will take the electrons and it will form hg normal hg and your cl minus will be there okay so this reaction is the reduction reaction clear so this is all about what your calomel electron hope you understood the working construction cell representation and oxidation and reduction reactions of this calomel electrode remember this calomel electrode is the secondary reference electrode it is used as a secondary reference thank you